Good afternoon, Avatar of Vodanji. Good afternoon. What are you going to talk about today? Today I'm going to talk about more adventures with Baba Muktananda and the implications of um, his um, yoga, his teachings, which he's asked me to talk about. Um, I was meditating. In my room, and I left my body and my spirit and went up to Siddhaloka. And I started walking through the pathways and the gardens, the trees in Siddhaloka, and I was approaching Baba Moksananda's ashram. And there was a lovely singing, chanting going on. Om Namo Bhagavate Nityanandaya. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful music. So I entered the ashram. People were singing that beautiful chant to Baba Muktananda's guru. And when the chant had finished, I approached Muktananda, who was sitting on his uh, throne, and I talked to him, and he um, put some garlands around my neck, blessed me on the head, and asked me to speak and encourage devotees of um, the Siddha path. yoga of the perfect masters to really understand that Baba Muktananda hasn't gone anywhere in the sense that he's in Siddhaloka and from Siddhaloka he can see the people on earth and bless them that are um, devotees of his and encourage them in their yoga and spiritual practice and um, when they die, they will, if they live good lives, they will go to sit local when they die. The point about living a good life is there's a barrier around the paradises. This is what Muktananda wants me to tell people. And that barrier is made of a force that if a person has density, because of bad habits, bad lives, bad actions, they can't get through that barrier. So a person has to be in the Sattva Guna to get through the barrier. They have to be living, so encouragement to live a good life and uh, making, chanting God's name, this purifies oneself. Uh, meditating, seeing the blue pearl, person seeing the blue pearl when they meditate. This makes oneself on the level of Siddha Yoga, Siddha Loka. So, the purpose is not just, of course, the goal, and the, the purpose of yoga is to attain realization, the perfect union. With the Atman, but that can be a long way away for people. So they'll keep coming back until they get to the stage where they go to the paradise and can practice their practices in Siddhaloka as a continuation of a blissful practice. So Muktananda is encouraging and asking me to talk about these adventures with him, which is to be in his ashram in Siddhaloka and to see it as a living presence um, for people who are his devotees. Um, not just, oh, he's dead so he can't have any influence. That's not correct. A perfect master can have influence on a person, on persons with lives and give them Shakti Pat and teachings 
when they're dead. Because there is no death. Once a person's atomized, that knocked out as one with the Atman, they're in the essence of God forever. They're one with God forever. And in that essence, there is no death. So, um, when I was in the ash, when I went to Babamoksha, and I also saw um, Swami Prakashananda, Baba Prakashananda, who was sitting on a wall, small little wall area thing, we had some gardens. And I said hello to him, and he was uh, um, very kind and, and uh, blessed me. and uh, um, showed me around certain areas of Sudaloka. Showed me to Bhagwan Nishinanda, who I'd seen before in Sudaloka, who blessed me with uh, the, his hand on my head. And um, then Mokhtanada took me to Nimkroli Baba, who I'd always wanted to see. He was lying on a, he had a little ashram, very small ashram, stood alone. He was lying on a wooden bed thing, his blanket on him. He gave me his blessings and um, said that I was his guru. Um, when I saw Bhagwan Nityananda, he stretched out full prostrate on the ground and touched my feet and said he was said I was a Siddha Guru and worthy of uh, uh, worship. And so I'm talking about these adventures. This is, uh, they can say these encouraging nice things to a person to encourage them to do spirit to carry on with their spiritual practice or encourage them in their spiritual practice. That's the whole purpose. Of Siddha Masters. Anyway, God bless.